Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to GameStar TV on a Wednesday night for some eLeague.gg GameStar Spring Series. It's Overwatch action. It's Division 2. It is the final week of qualifying to make it through to the finals day, which we think will be November the 13th, but I will confirm that later. And we have an absolute superstar lineup of both teams and um, commentators tonight including Avril, Kit Fox, Genome, and Xenox joining us on the cast. <laughs> oh, excuse me, coughing up a lung here. Um, I'm going to throw over to Kit Fox, who's going to take it away for the first match. He'll run through our sponsors for the night, and then we'll get match underway. Number one, Simple Optometry versus Riders Esports. Kit Fox, over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, EJ. And while you get somebody to check out that chest of yours, Myself and Genome are going to be bringing you Simple Optometry versus Riotous Esports. It is the Division 2 tonight here at the EGSS. The map number one will be King's Row. One would say uh, the Dust 2 of, uh, of Overwatch. But Genome, the man in the analyst position tonight, who do you favour to take this one out? Well, there seems to be no sound coming, uh, Kipbox. <laughs> Mm, I believe he was uh, pressed out. All good. Um, I absolutely favor Simple Optometry tonight. They've been super strong. Um, they're sitting at number two on the Zowie leaderboard at the moment on 26 points, and they've had a very strong performance every week so far. Now entering. Definitely, and coming into tonight's Simple Optometry, as you've said, they do sit number two on the Zowie leaderboard, running with scissors. They take the number one spot at the moment by only two points. So Simple Optometry come in second, and then even bring in third place. And Four Down, who didn't actually play the first week, they're sitting in fourth position. So they've uh, come really, uh, really strong, really strongly through these uh, through these later stages, Genome. Yeah, they have, um, and they've only got, as you said, two points between uh, them and the top of the scoreboard. Um, a lot of these teams are going to be playing for seeding tonight. Um, so every win Simple Optometry gets, um, if they can get the eight points, maybe even the ten points with a 5-0, um, it could absolutely help out their chances going into the finals of Division 2. Just going to run through the teams. On the blue side is Simple Optometry. They consist of Patterson, Eevee, Homo, Demon, Bash Bashu, Hazchem, and Snexwang. And over on Riotous Esports, that is Bentley, Bowles, KZA, Brookback, Pisa, and Tongue. And the Riotous Esports lads, they've been around for a while and across a, a few games, if I recall correctly, and they're uh, Esports veterans. So I'm going to back them going into this uh, this King's Row map. Very stock standard here for Overwatch, but as we look at these two teams on paper, Genome, who do you think has got it down? Yeah, definitely, definitely simple optometry. Um, they've shown very strong matches across um, King the Hill, across Payload, uh, and against a wide range of teams. Pretty much the only ones uh, being able to take them down being the other ones at the top of the leaderboard, like running with scissors and even. Yeah, Pisa just throwing out the Sonic Arrow, taking a page out of the Tempo Storm strategy books, and now he's going to go and swap up that Hanzo to the Pharah. So this is interesting here. As uh, now, uh, oh, sorry, he's switching it up to the Zarya, and there's just a little bit of a hush forming across the map as the Riotous lads decide to push up through the inn here up to the second level. But the Simple Optometry lads are all over it, and there it is. The main wall comes out, but the speed boost goes through very, very successfully. And Homo Demon on point gets taken down by Bowles. Has is in there as well, taking down, put back. Patterson in there with Zarya, combining with Bachu. The wall now separating these two teams on the point. And who's that? The back line, it's Azkem on the Reaper, coming around through the in on the left-hand side there. And that's a very good push for Simple Optometry. They've uh, pretty much mop, mop, mopped the floor with the right slides here. Now they've just come in for a push of their own. They're forced off the point. Rookback's coming in. Homo Demon is respawned all the way back in. Bentley jumping in with that Tesla cannon. But Hazchem gets three, four, in fact, as he takes down Rookback as well. He is absolutely carving up. Well done there from Simple Optometry. You almost might have thought that was a death loss in there coming out by Hazgame. He got so many kills so quickly there. And wow, what a back and forth fight. So, Riotus, they get the first couple of picks. KZA and Bowles are picking up a couple, but they're not able to capitalize it. And just great poise there shown by Simple Optometry as they slowly get themselves back into the fight, uh, freezing some people, and then Hazgame coming out with that big maneuver at the end to solidify the defense for them. 
So it just looks as though they're gonna go for the hotel strat again. There we go. Genji dashes out. It's KGA. The Graviton Surf comes out and it's collected everyone from the right of esports. Down goes the Blizzard as well. Has come again, mopping up, going absolutely large on the point. Primal Rage pop, but it's not gonna do much for Bentley and Simple Optometry. They hold firm yet again. Yeah, you've got to wonder about how many ults they use there, though. Graviton versus Blizzard is such a strong combo. You stick everyone in, they can't get out, and then they pretty much can't avoid being frozen. Uh, it got so many of them down, but then they also use the Earth Shatter at the end, and I think that was completely unnecessary. Uh, Homer Demon being a bit too eager there. Well, they managed to bait out the Maywall, did the Riders Esports Lads, and now they launch a Graviton Surge of their own, but their Lucio counters with a well-timed sound barrier, and now there's chaos unfolding on the point. Hascam takes down Brookback in the back line. KZA's got himself a nano boost, trying to take down Snixwang. He doesn't really connect with anyone, unfortunately. Pisa takes down Bashu. Patterson, though, on the Zarya, with godlike tracking, takes down Bentley, takes down KZA, but this is all coming up, Hascam. He got nano boosted by Snixwang, and he is going hunting Pisa should fall and this is just all simple optometry at the moment Gino. What can rioters do if they're to break this? Yeah well they committed a lot of resources taking out Batu there. They he went into the ice block, he obviously lost a lot of health and they all just sat around him saying okay we've got to take out the May. Um, don't worry about the other guys just like let's get the May first. Uh, and as a result, I think the uh, Simple Up Chongqi guys got a bit too much damage on them while they were doing that. They didn't get the chance to, you know, maybe get a pick off while Mei was regenerating her health. Uh, and as a result, ooh, nice ice wall there, catching yeah, two off. Yeah, they're finally connected the ice wall at the top, but the Earth Shatter from Benny. Oh, great boom came, that comes out from Eevee there, just knocking him off target. The Death Blossom, Blossom comes out from Bowls, and Hazken gets two of his own, just showing us how to play Reaper here on King's Row. Now KZA on. Genji throwing the shuriken, Patterson takes down balls, and now KZA, the pool goes out to retreat, and again, Riotus just cannot seem to break it, but yes, they need to push again, 20 seconds on the clock, not wasting any time, the main wall comes out, and they're split here, three going left, three going right hand side of the fountain, but there's the earth shatter from Bayomo Demon, collects two, and then Bashu throws down the blizzard, and another great main wall comes out, this is great play from Simple Optometry, just Fort Knox style holding, we're now into overtime, and I think that's going to be it, they hold strong, well, Riotus just had no answer, Genome. Yeah, it was a really nice death blossom coming out by Bowles. He caught both of the supports very quickly. Nothing they could do about it, but unfortunately, the rest of his team already gone down. Uh, the losing the fragging battle, and that's all she wrote. Uh, a very, very strong defense there by Simple Optometry, looking super strong, and got to favor them on the attack here to take out King's Row now. Well, we're joined in the specialist analyst position by two people tonight. I'll throw to Xenox first. First of all, good evening, and how did you see that match? Uh, thank you, Kit Fox. Yeah, it was uh, pretty expected considering Simple Optometry are uh, uh, definitely a top two team in Division 2. There was one thing that really stood out to me, though, was around the 1 minute 30, 1 minute 40 mark was the Graviton Surge come out from Riders Esports was really good. But Evie's positioning in the back line with the Lucia was able to not get sucked in, got off a sound barrier and kept her team alive. And then they obviously turned it around and got the kills that was needed. So um, that sort of positioning on Lucia is, is uh, critical. Their awareness and coordination was great and defended brilliantly. And the other man on the panel tonight is none other than Kiwiana's legend himself, it's Avril. Thank you very much for that intro, Kip Fox. Um, you know, absolutely just what Zenox said was absolutely correct as well, good positioning to make sure that you're not inside the Graviton Surge. Um, a couple of things I noticed was what was good about Riders, even though they're not so much favoured at the moment to win this, is Riders, they came in, their initial push was great, they went through the cinema, they dodged the Maywall completely, they actually countered the Maywall, I, I would even say, with their first push. They should have capped the point right then and there, but they failed to be... They failed to be able to secure the rest of the kills. They actually got an advantage. They managed to kill Homer, uh, Homer Demon first. He was completely caught out as Reinhardt. They focused him down. They couldn't secure the rest of the kills there. They were 6v5. They should have turned 6v4. Hascam basically went absolute large, completely denied them of that attack, and then further chances for them to push. They overcommitted ultimates, and Hascam cleaned them up again. Sorry, uh, unfortunately, we've been forced to pause the game here. There is control shift equal is the key bind to pause. Thank you for that. But yeah, unfortunately, uh, I think one of the teams have uh, had a little bit of a disconnection issue, I think, Genome. I actually yeah. think someone's they're, they're, someone's looking for, I think Bachu is looking to see if someone's affecting his internet connection is what the deal is. Yeah, they haven't quite DC'd yet, but uh, I think there might be a bit of lag or something like that going on. 
perhaps. Um, maybe, who knows, riders are having some last-minute strategy discussions to work out how they can uh, hold full against uh, Simple Optometry and try and get a tie here. I've got to say, uh, riders are one of the only teams so far to have got a tie in the uh, EGS Division 2 series. Guys, I've got to also add in about Riders and shout out to the boys from Riders. Uh, two of them are down in, for PAX, and uh, KZA and uh, his buddy are playing at the Internet Cafe so they can still turn up for the um, Overwatch Division 2 tonight. So full credit to uh, Riders. So even when the team's travelling around the country, they still get in there and give it a crack. Commitment from the lads there from Riders. I did see that tweet as well. He's got himself a very swank apartment as well there in the heart of Melbourne. But get excited. Yeah, I hear there's a party on there on Saturday night, Kit Fox. Um, <laughs> well, there is now if there wasn't. So um, I don't know exactly where it is. It's somewhere in the Melbourne CBD, 20 floors up, somewhere like that. But it's swank. And get hyped for PAX. I mean, I'm so excited. GameStar will be in attendance. And I think pretty much anyone who's anyone will be there. So I cannot wait. Genome, will you be coming down? I am. I uh, just managed to grab a, a three-day pass quite cheaply, actually, so pretty happy about that. Very nice, very nice. I believe that, uh, I think that was sold out nice and early, so you must have snuck that in from one of your mates. Did, I did, and got it $60 less than uh, the door price, so <laughs> very happy about that. All right, we're going back live, back to the casters. All right, so we've just been told that we are good to go. It is Simple Optometry versus Riotous Esports here on King's Row. And that was good hold that we just saw from Simple Optometry. Lads, they are on blue and now they're going to push Bashu in nice and early on the Genji, jumping around the fountain, being doing a... Uh, Doing really good goblin work, we'll say, on top of the fountain there. And now he decides to go in, but the Maywall comes out from the riotous lads. They need to hold so, so strong and keep simple optometry out if there's going to be any chance of a victory here. But Bashu gets taken down by Tongue. Now Bowles gets a kill of his own. That's good. That's good news for riotous esports. They've got two picks. They need to do with Hazchem, though. He carved them up in the first half, didn't he, Gino? He yeah, absolutely did, and they're going for the same sort of May defense here. Um, they're opting to use the May wall a bit further back though, trying to get the Reinhardt to charge in and pin someone against the wall when they're not quite expecting it. Another May wall there, just failing to snag off Homo Demon, which would have been a great, uh, a great benefit for them. But the Reinhardt are charging straight into each other. Yep, the Reinhardts collide and knock each other apart, that's a great Earth Shadow that comes out there from Bentley, he collects three, Bashu now the last man to go down, he manages to get away, well done from the Genji, the Blizzard came down from Bowles as well, this is a really solid hold here from Riders. now they've got to do it, do, do it for two and a half more minutes. Can they do it? I think they can. They've shown very good promise so far, Gino. Yeah, well, KCA farms his ult up a little bit more. They'll have a Beyblade soon enough. And they've also got uh, Brokeback. Looks like he's saving his sound barrier here for when Bachu uh, decides to pop his Genji Dragon Blade. And that's absolutely what you want to be doing with that. Nice. They finally managed to get Homer Demon on the other side of the ice wall this time. Yeah, well done, Bowls. Finally getting a successful wall down, separating two. Tarn gets the kill on Homer Demon. Bentley eats a sleep dart for his troubles. But Bowls eats a nano boost. So that's on the May. KZA picks himself up a kill, takes down Hascam, who's been forced off his beloved Reaper and into a Winston, just to try and put a little bit of pressure on the back line of Varitas here, Gino. Yeah, well, you can see what they're doing. They're up to five ults at the moment. They're clearly just trying to bait out a couple of ults and go in with that massive, you know, everyone pops their ult at once, that sort of guaranteed push uh, you can get with that. That said, uh, we've still got a Death Blossom, a Graviton Surge, a Sound Barrier on the defensive side. It's not impossible for them to do this if they use these ults well. And there we go, the ults go flying onto the point there. Graviton Surge collecting a number of Riders lads, but the Earth Shatter comes out, but that is a massive Dragon Blade there from Bashu. Gets four, I think, in the end of old Bentley Pisa, and uh, I think it was KZA as well. And this should be a victory here. They're going tick, tick, tick on the point. It's a long run back there from Riders. The Sleep Dart comes out. Misses Tongue on the Tracer. He's going to force the contest. Well done here, Riders. They managed to get back. KZA blows Raid form to get on the point. Unfortunately, didn't have it in defense. There's the Graviton that comes out, collects everyone from the simple optometry lads. There's the Blizzard comes down. Riders just may hold this one. Bashu still jumping around the back of the point there. Needs to get frozen by balls, but Homo Demon with that golden glistening hammer denies him, and that will be a victory for simple optometry. Yeah, the, the strategy worked out exactly as they wanted it. They pushed through, used all the ultimates right at once, and it got them those really early picks that just 
didn't really give the defenders a chance there. Butchu even picking up uh, two in one swipe from his nano booster Dragon Blade, and we saw how fast he was zipping around with that extra speed boost. It was a sight to behold. Well done. Very strong start there by Simple Optometry. I think we're going to see exactly that now here on the play of the game. So while the, car, uh, the, uh, the viewers get to look at this one, we'll throw to Xenox for your thoughts on that game. I think it was a really good defensive hold. If they had have been uh, defending first, they would have been really happy with that and obviously go on to stop the payload too. Um, that would be dependent on how they defended the payload, but uh, they, they definitely, Riders couldn't be too upset with that defensive hold. It was just the fact that obviously they couldn't get the point uh, on their attacking push. Um, and the fact that it took Batu getting a ridiculous, um, I think it was a triple kill with the Dragon Blade um, to get through. Uh, credit to both teams, but Simple Optometry, they're top two for a reason uh, in the Division 2, and you could see why. And Avril, your thoughts? Uh, I think Riders did manage to hold out for quite a decent amount of time, which they'd happily be quite pleased about, I would, I would like to say. Um, the only real issue that I'm seeing is compositionally it's fine it's really good the composition is actually quite effective the problem with how they're playing it is they're actually not abusing the choke up they're actually not taking advantage of that choke situation now, if you want to relate it to how simple optometry played a very similar defense with their may they played the may wall quite aggressively right at the choke even at the cinema entrances and all of that and you know simple optometry managed to make the best use of that may wall now i don't feel like riders really did that they didn't really get much leverage out of the may wall at all um on top of that, there's a couple of problems with also over committing of ults. The first fire was actually, the first defense was actually really beautiful to watch from Riders Esports. Um, the hammer down to catch pretty much all the attacking players was absolutely nice to watch, but the over committing of the Blizzard on top of that was totally unnecessary. These are the kind of small things that sort of snowball up to a big advantage. And that's why you see Simple Automatry coming through with a massive five ultimate advantage. They used all five ultimates and they won that point you would have never really had to have even gotten up to that point if i believe riders esports play their um play their alt economy a bit better didn't overcommit so many alts and played a bit more aggressively with their may war at the choke thank you for that awesome analysis avril just going to uh, recap a few of the results from that round we're still waiting on two results to come in but running with scissors managed to take down the gods we just saw Simple Optometry defeat Riotus, Even pick up a victory over the Wild Ones, and Supremacy Gaming for their virgin appearance here in the GameStar EGSS, pick up a victory over Training Bots. So well done to those guys. But for now, we're going to go over to Temple of Anubis. I'm going to vacate, and for now, I'm going to throw you back to your host, EJ. Yes, thank you, Kit Fox. They do say a quick game is a good game. And uh, thank you to both teams for participating there in... Um, King's Row. As Kit Fox said, we will be going off to Anubis very shortly. Uh, just prior to that, though, where we might run through uh, thanking our sponsors yet again. We've got to thank our premier sponsors, of course, Zowie, Strive for Perfection, Split Media Labs. We use Split Media Labs as XSplit to power our broadcast. We manage all of our matches over at Challenge and come and make an account over at player.me and hang out with the coolest gaming community going around. And don't forget the premier headstyle, the headphone sponsor for GameStar is Plantronics. We'll be back very shortly uh, for our second round map. It'll be myself and Avril, as requested, I might add. So I hope um, Spazzy is in the uh, server. If he's not, someone go and slap him and tell him to get in here. We had the request. It's the EJ and Avril show up next here on GameStar.